I'll be like, oh hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> no, just kidding, that's dangerous. Hi, my name is Abby Sims and I'm a senior biology major at George Fox and I can't wait to spend the day with you. So let's go. I'm just headed into Murdoch Library right now. I love to come here before class to study and review my notes, so that's what I'm gonna go do. So I'm headed into my first class today, which is biochemistry. And in that class, we're basically studying the chemical processes that underlie life. So today, we're just gonna have a regular lecture day. headed into my ecology class and in this class we are studying a lot of nature and animal interactions and behavior and I'm about to give a presentation on soil microbial abundance and diversity as a function of stream proximity. Our site that was the suburban site was on campus next to a lot of human landscaping so it's possible that they use fertilizers on campus or in nearby areas and that could um, contribute to water runoff and increase the nutrient concentration and microbial growth in our suburban site. So this is Dr. John Schmidt and he is one of the biology professors. I've done Richter research with him for the past two summers now which has been an amazing opportunity. One of the things I love about working with students and teaching is the opportunity to, to think about God's creation and how it's such a blessing and privilege for us to, to learn some things about that. So the Richter Scholars Program, how has that impacted your role as a professor and what does that program mean to you? I think it's a, a wonderful opportunity to um, allow students to work closely with a mentor um, on a, a project or a, a question. And I think the Richter program gives students that, that ability to own their own research. I just really appreciate for you investing so much time in me and all of us as students. And it's really clear that you don't view your job as a job, but you view it as an opportunity to really pour into us um, mm -hmm. as human beings, as well as aspiring scientists. So I appreciate yeah. that. So I stopped by our research lab and I've done research with John for the past two summers. And yeah, this is where a lot of the work goes down. So we do a lot of fun um, molecular biology techniques like Western blotting or immunoprecipitation. And I've spent a lot of hours in this room, but I've also made so many good memories. And I was ultimately able to make a, um, a presentation as well as a research poster that compiled the scientific data and results that we were able to elucidate. So this is a place that means a lot to me. I will be graduating at the end of April and my plans for once I graduate are to apply to medical school this May. And that would set me up to take a transition year. And during this year, I plan to work as a medical scribe. I started doing that um, at the beginning of this semester and then I'll be continuing that um, into my transition year. And we'll see what happens. If I get accepted, then I'll be starting uh, medical school, the, not this coming fall, but the fall after. So the overgrowth of C. diff, do you remember what, what an overgrowth is called? Super infection. So what happens there is a microbe that you're trying to target can persist through an antibiotic. So now they've seen the antibiotic and if it survives the antibiotic, it's gonna be resistant to that antibiotic. So this can give rise to a super infection. All right. So I just got out of my microbiology class, and in that class we are just learning about 
microbes, which are things that are too small to see by the unaided eye. And then right now I'm headed over to Newland. I have a one-on-one -on -one with my AC area coordinator because I'm an RA. So this is Newland. This is where I live and I'm also an RA on Newland 3. And yeah, it's a great place to hang out, study, spend time with friends. We also have fun events here like Mocktail Mondays is a pretty fun event, or we do pancake nights, but a lot of good memories are in the storm. So because I'm an RA, I'm gonna go meet with my area coordinator or AC, Kara. So let's go. Yeah, so I just, you know, I wanna chat a little bit about what it means to be an RA. So I'm an RA for Newland Girls 3. And basically what that means is that I get to sort of instigate community and build a floor that is close with each other and feels comfortable in the space that we have, as well as be a part of an amazing group, um, a group of RAs that sort of builds community for, for Newland. So I'd love to hear about what it's like being an AC. <laughs> hey, I'm Kara. I'm Abby's supervisor and get to be her AC this year. Basically, we live in each one of the buildings. We supervise the teams of RAs who you all know and love across campus. What's your favorite part about living in Newland and working as well as living at George Fox? I've enjoyed coming to a campus where my coworkers and my supervisors and my students desire to know me because in a space where I am known and where I belong, I can offer that to the people around me. My favorite thing about Abby, Abby's amazing at showing up exactly how she is with the schedule that she has. You've been following her all day. This woman is busy, uh, but she still makes the time and space to be available for her residents. And oftentimes that shows up in like, okay, I'm gonna spend an hour baking cookies for them and then I'll just have residents come to my room and eat cookies with me um, or I'll host uh, she hosted an event at the beginning of the semester where everybody could bring their calendars and plan out what their semester would look like we all have to do that at the beginning of the semester she said let's do that all together I've definitely seen her women be able to grow as individuals and as a community because of the way that she brings herself to that space so I'm gonna jump into my one-on-one -on -one, but I'll catch you at my next lab This is my best friend Grace. We just went and got some midday coffee at Dutch Bros. You get a discount if you are a Fox student and you go to Dutch Bros. So make sure to mention that. So I'm currently in the microbiology lab. Uh, this is one of our upper division courses. Right now we're in the middle of something that's called the unknowns project. So we got three different tubes that have five different bacteria. And then we make this thing that's called a dichotomous key, which I have mine right here. And then you use a bunch of different microbiology tests to elucidate what organisms you have. It's a really fun project, but it's also really stressful and you get to work with some dangerous microbes that could be life-threatening if you don't use good sterile technique. To our favorite dinner place, going to the bone. bone Here bone, we go. <laughs> We're on our way to the bone. I love the bone. And now we have Abby and her boyfriend David enjoying a nice, beautiful meal at the bone. Beautiful view. I'm outside of Minthorn Hall for my last class of the day, which is Spanish for medical personnel. And in this class, we're basically learning about vocabulary that's useful for doctors and nurses. And I'm a pre-med student, so I thought that it would be a useful class for me. But we're learning about phrases and vocabulary that's useful to communicate with Spanish-speaking patients.
today you walked with me through a lot. My ecology class, which is where I gave a presentation. I spoke a little bit with Dr. John Schmidt. I went to my one-on-one -on -one with my AC, and we got to see what it's like to spend some time doing lab work, as well as doing a fun project that has really enhanced my experience here at George Fox. So thank you guys for joining me, and I hope that you were able to see as much joy in this school and feel as much as part of a family as I do at George Fox. So thank you.